guys, this is Carrie from Tone Wars. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We're really excited to hang out with you and to have you be part of our community. If you like what you see here, here's a couple ways you can support the channel. We always appreciate Super Chats very much, but here's a couple other ways you can support the channel and get something in return other than just content. If the Super Chat feature doesn't work for you, or if you're watching after the live stream, Jared's PayPal account link is listed below. Any donation of any amount is greatly appreciated. Since the show is sponsored in part by Motor City Guitar, we've included an affiliate link below. By clicking the link below, everybody wins. You're getting a great deal on some awesome equipment, you're supporting a store that has tons of inventory and great customer service, and you're supporting Tone Wars. And on top of all of that, if you live outside of the state of Michigan, whenever you buy anything from Motor City Guitar, you don't pay any sales tax. And last but certainly not least, you can visit our website at ToneWars.com. The link is below. There you will find some awesome Kemper profile packs with the tone and feel guitar players love. You will also find presets for the very popular Helix, HX FX, HX Stomp, and Pod Go. All right, the show's about to begin. We look forward to hanging out with you, so grab your favorite drink and join us in the live chat. Welcome to Tone Wars. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Tone Wars Sunday Night Edition. I'm Carrie, and this is Jared. What's going on, you guys? <laughs> Good to see you here. So, so glad. That we can spend the evening with you. It's always fun to be with you guys. That's right. Just that's double right. Double checking some stuff here. We were shooting some promos right before this for our upcoming fight night. Fight night. <laughs> yeah, man. We had a lot of fun today shooting all that. We actually did it pretty quick, too, considering. Yeah. I liked the super tight shot. Now I'm like, I can't see anymore. <laughs> I know. We were like... <laughs> Zoomed in a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait for fight night because I, man, we got to talk about that. So mm -hmm. this is gonna be interesting. It, it is. Things just got uh, a little interesting <laughs> with this fight night. It's gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna be a photo finish. So are you gonna tell them what it's the fight night is going to involve? Well, they know, the products, but I'll know. say it anyway. The quad cortex. <laughs> and the Kemper. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be sick, though, because what we're going to do is um, myself and two really good guitar players in the area that are friends of mine, um, the three of us are going to do a blind shootout between the two units. Now, before we even start it, they're going to get here around probably noon or 1 o'clock on Sunday, and they're going to pick two of my amps, and they're going to set them up the way they like them. And I'm going to profile the amp on the Kemper and capture it on the Quad Cortex for them. Um, they're on the Kemper, they're going to actually do the refining themselves with their guitar, their pickups. Yes. So this is about as scientifically... Above the board and yeah. scientific. And we're going to film that and show you... Uh, you know what we did so we're gonna do we're gonna all be that busy little bees next sunday i know man it's gonna be super busy but it's gonna be awesome because um uh they're gonna play um they're gonna have a little ab switcher in front yes. of them and then they're gonna be playing um each one of these units in a mix and outside of a mix of their songs so you get to hear their music you get to hear them play them in a mix and they'll be listening to it uh, through the Cali audio speaker, uh, the studio monitors that I have. And these things are amazing. I actually dial in the show on these. And um, when I'm playing tonight, I'll be listening to them as well. We're not using in ears tonight. I was going to say, it's so weird. I feel like we're not live because I, know. I don't have them in my ears. It feels yeah. like we're recording something. I actually, <laughs> I actually prefer this because, as weird as it is for us sometimes, because we're not hearing everything in our ears, um, uh, what's nice is when I'm playing, I'm hearing what you guys are hearing through my studio monitor. Same mix. I'm not getting an in-ear mix and hoping that I don't have to check the mixes and do all this stuff anymore. I literally could just be like, oh, this is loud or too loud or not loud enough or whatever mm -hmm. and check it. So anyways, they'll be listening through the speaker monitors of the studio monitors while they're playing here so it's like it, there won't be a frfr cab because so people will be like well it's a bad cab yeah. or i don't like it's studio monitors and these are good even fricker likes these studio monitors so 
You yeah. know what we forgot to say? And what? I'm super ashamed. Oh. We forgot to say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter, y'all. Yeah, Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> And also, I know a lot of you are waiting for that community jam. We were going to do that next week. Thank but you. since he only has the quad cortex, thank you very much. It's Todd, right? Yes. Thank you very Chicago much, Todd. Chicago Todd, yeah. for that for a couple yep. of weeks. He he wanted to get that in next week. And then the following Sunday, yes. we'll do the community jam. So if exactly. you want to get in, you've got an extra week to email yeah. Jared, and he'll send you the backing track for Thanks that. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, Because, yeah, yeah. like, I, I don't want people to feel slighted on that. It's just, it's a timing thing. I right. mean, it's possible that I could have the quad cortex for more time, but it's also possible that I can't. So I have to be, yeah. I, I have to do what I got to do, we'll, you know. So We'll roll with it. Yeah, yeah. Want to say hi? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Well, Chicago Todd was number one, first one in. He says, <laughs> What's up? Tone Wars, I may not be able to hang for very long. Wife wants to go sit outside since it's so nice out. If I told her she can go sit outside, I might end up sleeping outside. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, choice. We were sitting outside on the deck a little bit earlier yeah. when we were eating, and it was gorgeous it was even so here in nice. Michigan. Yeah. Perfect. Tell them what we had. We had some crab legs. Crab legs. <laughs> we had like one of those uh, crab leg cookout kind of dinners, yeah. didn't we? We didn't actually cook it out, but no. we ate it out. <laughs> someone else someone else cooked it out. We ate it. Yeah, it was good. That's right. Jason Taylor. What's up, man? He's like, happy wife, happy life. That's yeah. right, Brian. <laughs> you are not wrong. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the super chat, Jason Taylor. Oh, thank you. Happy Easter thank to you. us and all of the Tone Wars gearheads. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You Mule too. Blues. Hey, what's going on, man? Jason Lewis. Hey, guys. Happy Resurrection Sunday and Easter. This should be fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jeff Cornell. Happy Easter. Hey, Jeff. Dean Harkness. Dean, what's happening? Sean Casey. Hi, Carrie and Jared and everybody. Happy Easter. What's up, Sean? Acoustic. Right what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, Aaron Lucas is with us. Happy Easter, yes. Aaron Lucas Thank in the you. house. Yeah, he just released Your a new family, album. family, he did. I'm so sorry. We talked over top of each other. No, that's all right. He just released a new album. Look up uh, his band on, well, I, I have to look it up on YouTube Music. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. So, look them up on there. I am... Uh, Rolling Post through in my yeah. mind the name of your band. <laughs> the name of his band is not in oh, my brain. Oh, it's uh, uh oh, oh man, nuts. we both look like idiots right now. Post the link. Something about it's, a it's, road. It's they here. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry, dude. Please post the name of I your caught, band. I caught link. your your amnesia. <laughs> It'll come to me in a second. Um, let's see, Dean Harkness, we said hi to you, Steve Avencek, Global Rocks. Hey, what's going on? Um, check out the Marshall DSL 20 HR, what a great amp, awesome distortion. Mule Blues, just as Jared has on his Sunday best. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's Redemption Road? No, not Redemption Road. No, no, definitely not nope, that. That's a different one. Um, what is the name of their band? Oh my god, I feel like Aaron, an idiot. What's the name of your band? The Grace Magnets! That's right! He oh, put that, it in there. Okay, yeah, thank the Grace Magnets. I'm so sorry. Well, man. he's been in a lot of projects, so it's you hard to You have been in a lot of projects. <laughs> it's hard to keep up on them all. <laughs> but your family photo on Facebook, your wife shared where all of the girls are wearing the same sundress. Oh, so adorable. <laughs> nice little Sunday picture, Easter nice. Sunday picture. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to it. We got... Oh, Aaron. He... Okay, we got to do this for Aaron because we mucked up his uh, yeah. band name. Can we do Arnold Gets Mad That Someone Burnt the Easter Ham? <laughs> 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 I went to the fridge and I wanted to eat my protein, <laughs> which is a whole ham because it all fits in my bicep Woo! here. So I had to have the ham and somebody <laughs> burnt it. Oh. I'm so angry right now. I how dare you burn my protein. And now I have to order... Does ham have a lot of protein in it? Yes. It does? It's tons. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I have tons of protein everywhere. For some reason, when I think of protein, I don't think of ham. I am a ham. <laughs> you are a ham. <laughs> and I eat protein. Tons of it. And it's done. Because somebody burned... Was it you? Did you burn my ham? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> 
I will terminate you. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Paul Smith, how are you doing? What's up, Paul? JJ's House of Jams. Hey. Jeffrey Blanco. What's up, Jeffrey? How you doing, buddy? Marty Five. Marty Five. Dust Devil. What's happening, guys? <laughs> oh, Dust Devil says Passover. Nope, Death couldn't pass this up. <laughs> Thanks for joining us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Scott Fowler says Wireless lets you enjoy the Tone Wars. Have a good libation and sit on the deck at the same time. That's right. I haven't seen yeah, Scott in a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we got to say hello to Scott. Scott Fowler. Mr. Scott. How are you doing? How you, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen... I I don't think I saw him in the last... Maybe one or two live streams. Yeah. Missed you. I even said hello to you on my last live stream. I, I said, it. hey, in case you're here, and in case you watch it afterwards, hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Jason Taylor, Tone Wars. Which particular Cali monitors are you using? The model and size. Uh, LP6. Those are the ones, and they are freaking awesome. They're about yep. 14 inches high and <laughs> 8 inches across. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, they're really good, man. I love these so much. I mean, um, I was using, like, and again, I don't have, like, a professional studio down here, like, where I do my editing and stuff. I just needed a reference, so I bought the uh, the Mackies just for that. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. And I just, you know, Mackies are decent, um, but... I like their other models I have upstairs. Mm -hmm. I, I like those better, the ones in my living room that I use. But the ones down here don't sound good. And these LP6s are just killing it. So I'm probably going to end up replacing my Mackies with another pair because they just sound so good. <laughs> so. All right. So where did he live? Thomas Wolf, he says, it's very late here in Germany, but I'm Ooh. very happy to be here. I love this channel. <laughs> awesome. We love awesome. to hear that. <laughs> love having you here, man. Thank Thanks you so for much. staying up late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher. Hey, Christopher. Happy Easter. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And, and cheers. cheers to you. Boink. Mm -hmm. I'm almost out of beer. I got to get another one. Let me just wait. You're going to have to go pee too many times. <laughs> you have to Thanks, leave me Mom. by myself to talk about t-shirts and such. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Dean Harkness, they're probably at least two times that size. Oh. <laughs> 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 they are not. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Marty they're good, Five though. says, I have those as well. Cali LP6 go well with the Helix. They're they're just great, man. They're great monitors. And so that's what everybody's going to be listening to, the Quad Cortex and the Kemper through. <laughs> and, uh, man, uh, I, well, I should play some, I'll play some riffs for you yep. right now. So because of what I learned through my process doing the shootout last, or well, this week, so we're still in the same week. Um, I applied what I learned to making some new profiles, and I to thank the community, I actually put up a free pack. So I replaced my sample pack with a free pack of refined profiles, and you get six. Um, you get uh, the Diesel Herbert uh, Mark III Channel 2 Plus and Channel 3, the Engel Savage Channel 2, Channel 4, and then the EVH Stealth Blue Channel and Red Channel. And man, I'm not kidding you, this new process that I'm using, I'm going to redo all my packs, just so you know, because it's so good. I'm like, I have to redo everything. It's a blessing and a curse. I'm like, yay! Oh, i got to do them all <laughs> over again. Like, oh, crap. Yeah. But I have to, because it sounds so good. And um, everybody that's bought profiles from me, if you bought, like, let's say you bought the Ingle Savage ones, you get a free update. So they're all free, free updates, you know. So you've just collected the address from their purchase on the website, and you just know you could just scoop well, and scoot out. what I have to do is send out a multi-email, a yeah. blast, which I'm working on, and then I just tell everybody, just send me proof of purchase. It, it's, it's something I'm working on, you know, but anybody that's, you know, it, the updates won't be available for a while yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the updates won't be available Sorry for a while. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Put you on yeah. the spot there. Yeah, <laughs> Because, because I have to do the updates, so it's gonna t it's gonna be a bit, you know. Um, but I haven't released the Herbert yet, so that <laughs> one, you know, obviously won't be free. But but the profiles are really turning out really freaking good. Like I thought my other ones were good, and now like when I hear, look at me now. Yeah, exactly. Like 
Well, now when I hear my Ingle Savage profiles, I mean, it sounds like exactly how my amp sounds mic'd up. I mean, it's exact. You know, and that's why I'm saying, Does it like, feel the same too. Yeah, feels yeah. great, feels amazing, and that's why I'm saying I really think the Kemper has a fighting chance. Mm-hmm. Like, this ain't over at all. This is kind of like a over to the OG like a Rocky. Sings. It's right. It's like a Rocky fight. You know, he gets pummeled and pounded, and then in the eighth round, he's like, "Get up! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get you, buddy blow." You know, I mean, it's it's gonna be interesting. It really is. I think, uh, I'm not saying the Kemper will win. And it's not going to be four hours. Yeah, it's not going to be a four hour shootout. Um, but I'll wring your neck. I'll give you more than one little sideways look. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be slapping me. No, I, I'm not saying, I'm not guaranteeing that the Kemper will win. I'm not guaranteeing that the QC will win. I'm just saying, like, it's going to be a photo finish because we're scoring these. So we won't know what we're playing, but there's going to be a score at the end. Am I going to be behind that giant desk over no, here again? No? no. You just have like, your laptop Put and that little table. I'll be here, and then the, whoever's playing is going to be, be in, in between us. Yep. Yep. We're going to be separated and stuff. <laughs> yep. So you can't slap me. <laughs> See, I planned ahead. <laughs> Jeffrey Blanco says, I remember you said that the Badlander is a controversial amp and some people don't like it. I don't understand why. It sounds awesome to me and I love it. It's a great amp. I love that amp. (laughs) Yeah, it's on my list. It is on my list. But he said you said that some people don't like it. No, it's true. It's, you it's, said that the Badlander is mm-hmm. controversial and some people... Oh, but yeah. you like it. Yeah, I like it. Ah. Yeah, but some people don't. Some people didn't like it because they expected um, something different. I mean, some people were like, you know, oh, because you know how the telephone game is. Like, yeah. oh, the Badlander came out. Oh, it doesn't need a boost. Yeah, it needs a freaking boost. I mean, I haven't yet. I haven't met an amp yet that doesn't want to be boosted. And it's okay, you know? I mean, because the thing is, uh, a amp that doesn't need a boost might not need a boost for the guy who created it because that's the way he dialed it in but other people are like no i need a boost still you know so i want an amp that has enough low end left in it so that when i boost it it sounds good scott palmer thanks for the super chat oh thanks man he says glad to be back just saying hello (laughs) seriously thank you very much thank you it really (laughs) means a lot seriously Neil Blue says it's going to go 10 rounds in the fight night. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're going to do is it's three guys. It's two profiles each. You know, they're going to pick two different, you know, amp profiles each. And they're going to play. I told the guys, bring two songs, maybe three, just in case. But they're going to be playing it in a mix. So they're going to pay, play like. It sounds so nice compared to the last time. You're oh, like, oh. I got seven or eight oh. songs. And I'm like. So many profiles. It was insane. <sighs> so this time. Uh, they're, <laughs> so this time they're basically going to, um, play, like, let's say they pick a, a mix that they want to play in. They're going to take the profile of the Kemper, play it in that mix. Then they're going to take the quad cortex capture, play it in that mix. Then they're going to do riffs on it outside of the mix with the AB switcher and then just go, all right, I score this one, this, and that one, that, but they don't, again, they don't know which one it is until the end. Yeah. That's Duo Q Life says, look at how glorious all of those amps look. What a great sight. <laughs> Good to see you guys on the live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good to, to see, see you your here. name here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these amps are amazing. Mule Blue says, and Carrie is looking fabulous as always. Well, thanks. <laughs> 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 I appreciate that. Yeah. She does. She always tries. She always looks good for you guys, you know. <laughs> yep. If I can help it. Yep. Bob Dobb says, hi, have you plugged the quad cortex into your SYN 5050 power amp? If so, did you go out of one main, out of the cortex, or two main outs into the input of the SYN? Ah, good question. I haven't gotten that far with it yet. I don't know. I think there are some direct, you know, captures in there. I haven't had a lot of time to uh, mess with that. Um, One of the biggest reasons is I, I had to reshoot the video. And because I reshot the video, I had to edit it, upload it, and then, um, you know, uh, interact with the comments and all that, which was awesome. And then I had um, I had to get things set up for fight night for next week. And because of what I discovered with the Kemper, making it, you know, doing the profiles better, I did some experimenting and applied what I learned to it and uh, 
then had to kind of develop that craft a little mm-hmm. better. And then I shot more profiles. <laughs> and now you guys are going to hear them tonight. They're freaking stupid. I mean, these profiles are amazing. And they're on the website, tonewars.com. Go on there and uh, get the free sample pack. It says free refined uh, sample pack or something like that. Just get them and find out for yourself. I mean, they are the best profiles I've done so far. And I'm so glad I learned what I learned because you guys are all going to benefit from it too if you play Kemper because you're going to love these profiles. Dean Harkness says, funny how you mentioned Rocky because I was thinking earlier I could see the Kemper getting it now, but the Cortex pulling ahead with updates. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be really interesting. And that night, no matter who wins, um, we're going to discuss all the other stuff. You know, we're going to talk about like what what Dean just said, like, you know, what about the updates? What about the interface? What about stuff like that? Marty Five had a good comment, too. He says capturing stuff. Both are cutting edge. You can tweak the Kemper after capture, though. The QC, you cannot. That is exactly correct. And I had that conversation with Jay, <laughs> a buddy of mine, last night. And that was something ding, ding, ding. that I, yeah, that was something that I totally uh, caught on to when I started doing my own profiles better, you know, with this new process, with the refining process. And so while we're all here talking about this, um, let's nerd out for all a minute. Oh, 42 of us. Oh, Awesome. So let's nerd out for a minute. So here's what I discovered. Um, You know, well, we all know this. I'll I'll tell you all the Captain Obvious stuff right now. (laughs) (laughs) It has a seven-inch (laughs) touchscreen. An extremely easy and intuitive user interface. (laughs) You'll see why she's saying this uh, next week. (laughs) And it captures all your favorite amplifiers. (laughs) Wow, now you can say it. I know, now I can say it. I just needed a couple shots of whiskey. Apparently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But the thing that I discovered was, um, I mean, well, let me say this again. Um, <laughs> the Kemper was never meant for, um, you know, people to, like, you know, make and sell profiles. Yeah. And the reason why was when you make your own profiles, your guitar matters because you yeah. actually refine those profiles with your guitar, your pickups, your playing style, your pick, your hands. And yes, it does freaking matter big time. It really matters, which is cool because it's like your own way of crafting your own custom thing. And the way that you refine them does matter. It makes a big difference. And I was goofing around down here and I, prof- I profiled my Diesel Herbert channel three and i did all kinds of like weird riffs on it and this and that and it turned out like crap ran the profile again and then i did some more straightforward stuff and it was perfect so it really does matter how you do the refining process you know um so all that stuff comes into play and marty's exactly right (coughs) excuse me (laughs) i burped it so hey ola does it all the time so it's fine so, anyways, uh, what, was I, what was I saying? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm on a tear. I was overshadowed by something. By the burp? <laughs> oh, you've never heard a burp? Not live while we're on Tone Wars. <laughs> he well, burps all the time, otherwise. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> Not live on Tone Wars. <laughs> That's all good. Um, so, oh, gosh, what was I saying? Doggone it. I, I, I don't know. We were talking know. about... Um, the profiles. Oh, uh, yeah. So basically what the quad cortex does is it does all that for you with algorithms as opposed to a real guitar and a real player. So this is your way of crafting your own, you know, profiles with your style of playing, your guitar, your pickups and everything. And it really does make a difference. So honestly, the ease of use factor with the quad cortex is nice, but the customization process that the Kemper allows you to do by, by, um, uh, refining them yourself is actually, in my opinion, I kind of like that better. I want to make those decisions. Mm-hmm. I don't want something making it for me. Yeah. So, and you it only takes thumb, like a you minute. You got a thumbs down, probably for that belt. I did. Yeah. Oh, we always get a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, we always get one. Yep. Usually more than that. We always get like one to three. It's just <laughs> the way it is. Anyway, so, um... Maybe I should. Are there other comments you want to read right now? Because I went. I want to play some. Bobby Lucky says hi, hey. Gary and Jared, and and all. This is awesome stuff. Exploring these profiles, and then Bobby Lucky was making fun of you for drinking too much beer. <laughs> <laughs> drinking a little fast, didn't I? Oh. 
Um, so Jay Custom says it doesn't have the huge low end that the multi-watt rectifier has. He was probably referring back oh, to when we were the talking Badlander. about the Badlander. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's definitely got a more usable low end where the rectifier is like just tubby as hell. You know, but if you slam it with an OD, you're good, you know. <laughs> Dean Harkness gave you a 4 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I could totally do better, can I? He can totally do better yeah. than that. So could you. Although he's not going to prove it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah. I might. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> Jason Taylor, anyone tried the Jackson Golden Boy Overdrive pedal and with a high gain amp? Just curious about the thoughts. Ooh. I haven't heard of, I haven't even heard of that. Jeffrey Blanco, I found that my EBMM Majesty is definitely warmer and darker sounding compared to other guitars. The guitar matters a lot for tone too. You are right, dude. You are absolutely right. It really does matter, you know. Um, and I I dial in all my profiles with this, you know, with these guitars and it really makes a difference, you know. These are high output pickups. And the EQ that they have associated with them does matter a little bit, you know? So, yeah, but it, it, it really does. I love the fact that I can actually have that sculpting part of it myself. I can really sculpt everything the way I like it. And man, these are just coming out amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that whole episode and because of, um, learning from some mistakes that I made have really upped my game and I'm so grateful for all that, you know? Thomas Wolf, you're going to find out what we think about the Kemper and the uh, Quad Cortex. He says, I sold my Kemper for having an FM3. Three months later, I sold my FM3, and now I'm still waiting for my Quad Cortex. I'm very curious what you guys think about it. Ah. So next Sunday, you got to sleep in and take some naps, because I know you're in Germany. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to join in on the fight night, because we'll be yeah. shooting them out next Sunday night. Yep, it's going to be great. I mean, what I can tell you right now is I do like the product. I think it's really good. You know, I think it's uh, fantastic. Uh, it really is a great product. You know, um, the user interface is great. Um, and it does do the captures very well. It's very easy to, to use. I love the diagram that it gives you. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about with it right now is the fact that it's still a baby. You know, it still has... It's just a hatchling of a product, and it, it, there's going to be several updates that are required to make it work. You know, uh, not work, but I mean, to get all the um, you know, effects awesome and stuff different the things. Has, yeah. yeah, so it's going to have to catch up to the Kemper and the ecosystem regarding like um, buying profiles and, or captures or whatever for it doesn't Is that what exist they call yet. Them captures. Yeah, so I mean, there's probably like a thing where you can share for free with each other, but I don't think there's no. As far as I know, there's no professional profile makers in there yet selling profiles because they don't have the store open yet. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while, you know. Tech Death Hippie says, all those heads look so cool, like art. <laughs> Thanks, do. man. I love I love being down here. These, these amps are like my life. I love these things. Chris Smith, can I change the EQ and gain amount on the Quad Cortex capture when finished capturing? Uh, yes, you can change all that. Yep, it's, it's definitely something you can tweak. You can change the gain, uh, the treble, bass, mids. On the quad on, cortex? On the quad cortex, okay. yep. yep what you can was change it that you things. can't do after? Um, well, you don't refine it. Okay. It refines itself. There's like an algorithm that does it. That's why it takes like four minutes No, but to what did it. Marty Five say earlier? There was something that you can do on the Kemper, but you can't. Refine it yourself. Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, well, the quad does it for you, but it's refining it with algorithms as opposed to real playing in a real guitar. Nah. Yeah, so that's the difference, you know. So that's why the profiles that you buy for Kemper are also different because they're oh. refined by different people. He says, uh, capturing stuff both are cutting edge. You can tweak the Kemper after capture, though. QC cannot. Yeah, regarding the refining process, okay. yeah. Okay. I'll be yep. quiet about it now. All right, you want to play something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me mute the mic. Mute the things. Yeah, i got to mute the mic because that's going to be Feedback City if I don't. And then we're going to listen to what I'm playing through the monitors here, and I'll be hearing what you guys hear. One second. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm getting used to this new setup here. Um, I'm enjoying playing. I, I love my in ears, but it's just nice to hear yeah, what they're it's hearing. Nice to hear live. Yeah, so I can hear all that. So Marty uh, Five, I was asking him your question, and I just thought he might roll right into it. Oh yeah, I can roll the tone back. Let's see, where's my tone knob at? Uh, right here. Let me roll that back a little. Uh, one second. Let me <laughs> mute the mic. there we go there you go yeah there you go yeah it reacts to it very well very naturally 
Yep. Jason Lewis says, help an old dinosaur out. What the heck is refining and why is it necessary? Ah, yeah, it's a great question. I'm actually going to do an episode about this. Um, so basically what you do is you profile the amp. So basically um, the Kemper runs all of its weird spaceship noises through it to capture all the different frequencies that the amp makes through the speaker and the microphones. And it listens to that, and it says, okay, this is what I think your amp sounds like. And it's a good guess. It's a very good guess. But you always want to leave your guitar plugged into the Kemper while this process is happening, obviously with the volume all the way down while it's working. Um, but then, after it's done, mm -hmm. it, a, uh, a screen pops up, and there's a button uh, associated with a setting on the screen that says Refine Profile. So when you, when you push that button, what you're now going to do is play riffs through that amplifier, and the Kemper is listening to what you're doing. It's like taking in all this information and going, all right, low end is kind of like this, the top end is kind of like this, the mids are like this, through this guitar. And when you're playing the riffs through the amp, you're doing more than what those little spaceship noises are doing. <laughs> you're, do, you're playing actual guitar through it. So now the Kemper is going to now perfect what your amp sounds like th you know through the mics in the cab and it really does make a very big and noticeable difference so you can go from a, a profile that sounds pretty good to like holy crap this is blowing my mind uh -huh. like amazing and it helps with the feel so once you once you do that once you play riffs through it and and save it you're done so you could play for like 30 seconds 40 seconds that's all you need to do the thing is, is when I started doing the profiling over a year ago, I would play every note on the neck. I would play leads. I would play um, all kinds of stupid crap on my guitar, thinking, "Well, this is how I play, so I want the amp. I want the amp to um, give the Kemper as much information as possible." Well, I ended up giving it too much information, and it, they just sounded really weird and clacky and horrible. So you just play some good just riffs, open strings, you know, big chords palm mutes, some chugs, and some basic just riffing, and then you're done. No leads, no single notes, especially up here. It's just going to make it sound weird. <laughs> and uh, it literally does train the Kemper on what your amp sounds like, and it nails it every time so far. Sven is joining us from Germany. Hey, Sven. Sven, there's somebody else in here from Germany that stayed up late <laughs> to watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Aaron Lucas says, holy mackerel, sounds like fire. Thank you. All oh, the profiles. Dude, you got to come back over and we, we need to run some more profiles for you because <laughs> they're going to sound better. <laughs> Jeff Cornell just sent a super chat. It says, the English guy talks about refining the Kemper profiles. Oh, yes. Yes. The aristocrat. The aristocrat. <laughs> so you're wondering how the refinement process goes, don't you? Yes. Uh, first, what you do is you... You let the camper make its little, you know, spaceshipy type Space noises. noises. Oh, yes, UFO noises, <laughs> as I like to say. <laughs> and the microphones pick up those noises and tells the camper, hey, this is kind of what we think the amp sounds like. It's a very good <laughs> guesstimate. And logically, I think you should just make it sound like this. But then you're like, oh, no, 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 camera. <laughs> I have a much better way of showing you what this amplifier sounds like. So when you get done with your stupid little spaceship noises, I shall play the shreds and the gents through it myself. The shreds and the gents. Yes, and it will sound monstrous, absolutely devastating when I play my shreds and gents through it. Yes. So I shall regale the camper with my awesome playing and all of my wonderful mastery of playing on my guitar. <laughs> this guitar was made by John Petrucci himself and delivered to me by him himself. He came to my door and said, knock, knock, hello, John Petrucci here. Here's a guitar for you. <laughs> you wish. To, no, it really happened. Don't you lie. It happened. You just weren't here. You're just jealous. Uh, so anyway, he came and handed me this and he said, I know you're going to be purifying naps with this, so I made you the best guitar that you could possibly have. So you play your shreds and gents through it, and then the Kemper now has the proper sound in turn for you and it will sound better and you can only get them through my website no one else has this. that's right 
Nerwin has this guitar built by John Petrucci himself to do the shreds and jets with. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Jeff. <laughs> and you. the request. And Jamar, thank you for the super chat as well. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, Jamar says, I made it better late than never. <laughs> hey, man. That's right. Uh, JJ's House of Jam says, great tone and playing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Did I already, Bobby, did I already read yours? Does the quad cortex profile an amp and save like a block within a preset? Or is it a whole preset thing? That sounds absolutely huge and clear. Missed earlier, but what is that killer tone? Thank you. All right, so uh, what you just heard was my Ingle Savage profile uh, that's been refined. So if you have a Kemper, um, they're free on my website. I, I have a free pack on there of refined profiles. And trust me, you want to get these. And I don't make anything off of them, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. They are really good. Um <laughs> And basically, when you profile with the uh, quad cortex, what it does is it saves it in a category called My Captures, because they're called captures. So it'll save it in there. It won't save it as a preset. So what you do when you build a preset is you grab, you go to a, a blank preset, and you just tap on the screen, and then it'll allow you to pick an amp or one of your captures or one of the factory captures. So you go into My Captures and tap whatever amp you want there it is in the timeline so done mm -hmm. and then you just add your effects from there uh zen says this sounds amazing and by the way the playing is awesome too oh thank you man thank you very much sean casey uh tone war sounds like mixes off the right side i can hear but the side not that much it's missing some words there oh i'm looking at the meter he's right see yeah. the meter yeah the mix is uh what's going on with the mix Ah. Yeah, Dean Harkness agreed. He said, same here. I thought it may have been my headphones. They've been acting weird. Yeah, that's really strange. I'm seeing it, too, on the meter. Why is it doing that? I don't yeah. understand. Every once in a while, this does it. I'll have to reset the board, you know, to uh, right now rectify that. I mean, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, you won't hear us for a second, but yeah. once the board reboots, you'll hear us again. So, yeah. I mean, I can... I could certainly reset the board because this mixer is fine. It's just what they're hearing is off. He's right. I'm looking at the meter. I mean, is that cool? I mean, I might as well, I, right? Or otherwise it's going to sound like You guys poop. cool with that? I mean, yeah. give us some thumbs up and you just hang in there. Don't yeah. leave. <laughs> It'll take like 30 seconds. Okay. You know, and that'll give me a chance to go get another guitar. All right. You know, so let me just do it real quick. Here um, we go. We're doing yeah, it. I'll reset the board. Um... One second, guys. I hope I hope it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's still favoring one side. I don't. Where are you looking to see that? See that meter there? The top one. Yeah. See yeah. The, the there's two lines. One's oh. higher than the other. Yeah. I don't understand why that happens. I really don't. But it it does happen from time to time, and it drives me out of my tree because, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. It's a technical difficulty. Yeah. That's the fun thing about doing this kind of stuff is you get that from time to time. Oh, I can't uh, wait to get my heating pad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back on, and I just have to pull up the mixer. Aaron Lucas says, can we now do Arnold Calls Comcast to complain about his internet speed? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're back on, but um, I got good meter here, but it's just on, it's it's going out to you guys. Somehow that meter is is giving me a bad, yeah. Do you need to jiggle some wires? No, it's <laughs> not really much I can do, you know. I mean, it's just, I might have a bad cable. I need brand new cables, too, so. Oh, there we go. Got it? Yep. 
Whatever I did fix. Genius. Genius. Right here, That's genius. why she gets the big bucks. That's right. Yeah, I got a bad case. These are brand new cables. <laughs> Son of a gun, man. Carrie fixed it. What would you do without me? I think we just got lucky. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> What's it take to get What's a little praise What's it take to get a little here? praise around here? <laughs> no, you fixed it. You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius. Thanks for hanging in with us, everybody. Yeah. You guys all stayed. We yeah. appreciate it. He said Thank that you. fixed it. And thanks for bringing it up because we don't want issues. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's part of what, you know, makes the show great is we want to keep track of everything. Um, I could do another mix. Let's test it out with another mix, yeah, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yes. So let me uh, mute the mic, and here we go. This is the refined profile of the uh, Ingle Savage, and I'll do the other ones in a minute, too. liking playing through these over yes. the in-ears right it's yes, just better my ears are super happy <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i love my in-ears but this is better i just got to remember to mute and you have speakers. it at a good level volume it's yeah. not too much for me typically yep. i'm like ah, no, no. Yeah. it's great hey yeah. warm cord joined us what's, what's up, up jay, jay? <laughs> you owe me a coke <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. you can have my whiskey yeah 
Al Acoustic <laughs> said, that was a wicked riff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's an oldie but a goodie. So Robert B. a little bit earlier asked, thinking hard about the Savage, but... Eh, but ATM love to experiment. At the moment. Ah, but at the moment, love to experiment with eight strings and had some bad experience with some amps and eight strings, the Powerball and boosts. Ah, uh, the Any, power. There Go. he continues. Ah. Any chance of eight string with the Savage? Also, something you cannot find much information on in general. How amps sound with eight? Um, the Powerball is a completely different animal. Um, the the Savage is like. I honestly, I don't know, but I think it's their mothership. Like that amp is like the quintessential angle, you know? I mean, I know people that have bought the other amps and like, yeah, they're good. And they, they are good. I'm not knocking their other amps. Mm -hmm. They are really good. But when you play a Savage, you're like, oh my God, like there, there is the mothership of all their amps, in my opinion. Um, I think it would it would do just fine on an eight string. I really do. Um, with that amp, you want to turn the contour on to get that fullness, but you can crank the um, the presence on it. I mean, I got my presence at almost three o'clock because that contour adds that nice mid hump, and that's what you're hearing right now. That's the amp I profiled in those settings. The presence um, will give you that nice little cut through that mid hump. To, to make those strings bark on an eight string. So, yeah, I think it would work just fine. Woof. Woof, woof. That's right. <laughs> Dean Harkness said something really cool. He said, sometimes you let your nerves get to you, but when you're just goofing and making faces at Carrie, you tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> well, thanks, man. I do let my nerves get to me from He's time to time. He's so serious. At shows, when we used to play live, you can't mess with him. You can't. I would even get super close and be like, yeah, let's. And he's like, nice, okay. Yeah, leave me alone. Stop I'm trying it. to concentrate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's so serious and he's got this like like three foot box he yeah. stays there yeah. and he does not move yeah well yeah sometimes yeah no sometimes never. i would move over here a little bit <laughs> sometimes i'd go over there a little bit but yeah no i was because like when i play live i mean i have i the only thing that goes through my mind is don't screw up and it, and it stops me from enjoying things sometimes because mm -hmm. i'm so worried about screwing up and I've learned over the years to relax. I mean, you guys have no idea. When I first started playing live on the show, I gave myself a shower. Like, I was a, I was sweating and just, because oh, I just wanted to play well. And I've learned over time to just relax. <laughs> You're going to make mistakes, and it's okay. You know? And now when I make a mistake, it doesn't derail me. It's just like, eh, whatever. I screwed up, you know? Um, and that's how I look at it now, you know? Bobby Lucky says, yeah, there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but that was mad. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for commenting. Yeah, thank you. It, it, well, you know, and I think, honestly, like I play better when without the in-ears in here because yeah. the in-ears are great. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Like when you're on stage and you got the house, remember? So like, much when, noise. Yeah, it's like it's, it fills it up. But when you're in the basement here in a studio situation, you hear every little thing so much that it's like you you end up nitpicking yourself to death. But we're in the room with these awesome monitors, and it just feels looser. It feels yeah. better. It's like a better atmosphere for us to play in. So Robert thanked you. He said, thanks, love the channel, and we'll look into them. Oh, thank you. Regeneration <laughs> Manifestation says that's the flagship. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I think it is. I mean, that amp just slays. I mean, I always tell people if you don't like the savage then you just don't like angle amps i mean because if you don't like that amp you're not gonna like any of them you know um that amp is just <laughs> sick it just does everything so what you heard was channel two for the rhythm and channel three or channel four for the leads so that's what two you for heard. the rhythm and four for the lead yep and they both are just phenomenal channels two has a little more bite and it's mm -hmm. a little tighter you know um but four is just a fire-breathing beast of a channel. I mean, it'll do both, but it really, it really loves to do leads. So, 
<laughs> great, great channel. I love You're doing good area. playing tonight for oh. not having any time to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> There's you. There's literally had... no warm up tonight. See, you can do it. You got to <laughs> yeah, get out no, of your I'm head. Screwed. <laughs> you got to get out of your head. We're up there. She brought meatloaf, which was like the world's greatest meatloaf. <laughs> it was so good. Thank and you. we're up there eating. Now, look at the clock. I'm like, oh my God, we're going live in five minutes. I haven't even touched my guitar yet. And I'm like, <laughs> ah. She's like, you'll be fine. And I'm like, no, I got to warm up. And sure enough, it's. See? Yeah, well, we'll you see. Get out of your head. The night is young, and I have two more profiles to play. Paul says, love the relaxed. <laughs> to jared oh well th <laughs> <laughs> well thank you i appreciate that it's it's definitely um I'm afraid to relax my back is yelling yeah at me. yeah she's she's having some back issues yeah yeah so if she lets out a little wince every once in a while Lord, i don't know why 30 seconds before we went live i was screaming yeah. i from going from standing up to sitting down i have two bulging discs yeah. and one of them is completely herniated and they're they're screaming at me right yeah. now. I'm yeah. afraid to. You want a pillow? Um. Would that help you? It might. Let me let me grab yeah. you a pillow. Okay. Just grab the little one yeah. off the sofa I, there. Yeah, I gotta I gotta grab the red guitar I'm anyway. I'm super nervous to. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> nope, just stay right there. I am there. so sorry, you yeah. guys, but no. I don't want to scream in this no. microphone. It's one of those nights, guys. <laughs> so uh, I'll grab that for you. Grab my. So you need anything else while I'm up there? No, I'm All right. good. I'm I gotta grab so my good. red guitar. And play some more songs for y'alls. Yeah. Jason Lewis says, fun fact of the day, John Petrucci has messed up playing live. I've seen it. I've seen it, too. It's <laughs> hilarious when he does it. He says, you're in good company if you do as well. Just saying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Mr. 805, I cannot, I don't even know how to say your name. I'm going to, is it, a, is it Peter? Piotr. Piotr? Pointer. <laughs> Can you give me, tell me how to say your name. He says, uh, you just tried uh, Jarrah's refined profiles. They're really good. Are you going to redo the slow 100 pack as well? I'll ask him that when he comes back. And I'm super sorry. I probably totally butchered your name. Where are you from? Are you from somewhere across the world or right here in the United States? Yeah, you guys, I have been dealing with these back issues for going on about well for a long time i had a cheerleading into injury in high school but um this last year it is really coming home and i've been going to like physical therapy i've been doing laser therapy where they take this um high it's not high voltage but it's high powered laser and run it across the muscles and the spine and it's supposed to help reduce inflammation and it, it just wasn't helping i was i do chiropractic care and massage therapy and so my doctor finally ordered an mri and there's like arthritis a little bit of arthritis and then these bulging discs and it is it is not cooperating with me today <clears throat> Uh, Delta Fit says messing up is a big part of playing the guitar. <laughs> the damn thing is so hard, right? Yeah, no, he's super, I mean, when he gets out of his head, it's like magic, super magic. But that's something that I've always asked him to work on was just coming out of his head and interacting a little more when he's playing. And, you know, that's kind of why I don't bug him when he's playing. I kind of just stay over here and, oh, thank you. Yep. You want me to put it behind you? I got it, you I got think. It? Okay. Yeah. Woo. That's better. Better? All right, good. Man, getting old sucks. It's not for sissies. Yes. What they say. <laughs> Thomas Wolf, artist on the toilet. Please wait. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that too. Yes, but having him loosen up for sure is was one of my dreams. Um, cause, cause it's fun to play with them. We do great talking and stuff, but yeah, I don't want to distract him and have him totally screw up a solo or something. <laughs> you talking about why you don't mess with me when yeah. I'm playing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this so um, he said good enough. But I said it three different ways. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's either Peter, Pointer, Pointer. We're going to go Pointer. <laughs> and he's from Poland. <laughs> oh, cool, man. So he asked earlier, he said, uh, just tried your refined profiles. They're Ooh, really good. Thank you. Are you going to redo the slow 100 pack as well? 
thank you and uh, I appreciate that if I get my hands on a slow because I don't have one ah. so I got to get my hands on one Jeff Cornell if he's still here um, was kind enough to let me uh, play it on the show before he uh, had it shipped to him from Motor City Guitar um, so that's how I got my hands on one that time so I'll have to try to see if I can find one somewhere and do it again. Like I'm, I'm redoing every pack of every amp that I've released so far that I have, and I'll be putting those up. And, I, and I'm not only going to put them up, but I'm going to pull the other ones down because I have a feeling these are going to be so much better. Like why even put those up there? Which really, I mean, I'm happy to do because anytime I run into something a better way of doing things, I want to do it. But I worked my butt off on those Ingle Savage ones for like three days and put them up. And uh, I'm just going to redo it because, man, I just feel like these are so much better, you know. And I want the best for everybody. So, yeah, I'm going to happily redo them. It's a lot of work. Um, and it so happens to be on my busiest time of year yeah. <laughs> that i got to <laughs> find a way to fit this yes. in. So it's it's going to be a while. So... Please understand, it's not going to be like tomorrow. You know, it's going to be, you know, over the next several weeks. Delta Fit says that autopilot is the place to be for sure. Yes, absolutely, when you don't have to think about it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes when we're performing, I always tell you, like, I never know the first word until it rolls yeah. up. <laughs> and yeah. it just comes out. There it is. There's Muscle times memory. when I freak out about it and then there's other times where I'm like I'm just gonna roll with it and it'll come out when yeah. it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah it's literally the way it is you know um you know it's it's strange how that happens I mean but there's 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 a uh, practice level ready and then there's performance level ready. They're two totally different things. You like, guys he's so serious. You can sound great at Super practice. serious. You can sound great at practice, but not sound good live. You have to be so practiced that when you get in front of an audience, there's no second guessing. And that's the problem with me is I got all the second guessing going on. You know, like, oh, now that it matters, I have to, do, am I really supposed to slide up to this note? I mean, you should hear the things that go on inside of my head. It's so you guys bad. You don't want to hear them. No, you don't. You don't want to hear them. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but I'm, I'm working on it. It's definitely something that I need to work on, you know. Delta Fit says, I have a Kemper, and I love it, trying to decide whether to get the Quad Cortex. You're going to have to tune in yeah. next Sunday, because we're going to have a fight night between mm -hmm. the Quad Cortex and the Kemper. We're going to have um, three different guitar players yep. here, and they're going to do a blind shootout, yep. and I'm going to keep score. They're going to rank what it, what each one sounds, how they sound, how they feel. Yep. And then I'll reveal the scores at the end of the night. So that's yep. next Sunday, starting at 7 o'clock. It's going to be fun, man. <laughs> it's going to be a good night because a blind shootout is the best way to do it. And, as I said before, we're going to film the um, capturing and profiling process on all, everyone's profiles. And these guys are going to dial in their own amps the way they like it. We're going to capture and profile them. And the guys will be refining their own pro profiles on the Kemper with their own guitars and everything. Mm -hmm. So... It's as legit and as scientifically, you know, sound as it gets, you know, so. Somebody's going to complain. Oh, it happens, but. <laughs> Thank know. you, Jeff. I appreciate that. He just said sorry to hear about the back issues. Oh, yeah, she's been struggling. Yes. Um, Mule Blues agreed. These refined ones are killer through my through my cones and Charvel's slime. What? <laughs> All this. Charvel's slime sand demas. <laughs> oh, cool, man. <laughs> no, like, they, am I saying this right? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm glad you like them, man. And they really are. It's a marked improvement, you know. <laughs> Big Mike is in the house from South Alabama. Big Mike, what's happening, man? Big Mike. Ooh, it's my first time having uh, Jefferson's Neat. Yeah, Whoa! Yeah, and here, put some water in it's it. It's a bit warm. Put some little water in it. It is a bit warm. It'll help. <laughs> wow. Cleared out my sinuses. <laughs> Whoa, that is some good stuff there. <laughs> Cut it a little bit. Mm. Uh, Big Mike. So I went to Pensacola. I went to college in Pensacola. So if you're from South Alabama, but you're probably not my age though. I was there in the mid to late nineties. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful in the Panhandle there. Ah, uh, but it was in Florida. Jeff Cornell, I could loan you the slow if you pan fry a ribeye for me. Dude, I'll pan fry you three ribeyes. 
And a rack of lamb. <laughs> and a rack of lamb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I would totally, I would totally do that, dude. Absolutely. You need to come out here. That would yeah. be, it'd be nice to hang with Jeff. Absolutely. Yeah, Sean, back problems totally suck. I have, for at least a month now, I felt like I'm 72, you know, just... Yep. I can only stand for like 20, 30 minutes at a time, and then I gotta sit down and put my heating pad on. And hey, I've done it too, man. I can't I've... wait for this to get. So same here, because you're a very active person. Yeah. So like, I still have like young this... kids. I, yeah. I'm an I am. I don't like to sit still. I yep. hate feeling like I'm a boat anchor. <laughs> yeah, you're not a boat anchor. You saved the show tonight with the, the horrible... <laughs> that's right, the jiggling of the cords. And you sat there. So you were just sitting there and you still did it. So that's, that's how Super. awesome you are. You need to get up. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, it's um, it's definitely something I'm familiar with too. Like I blew out my back a few times and it sucks when you get up in the morning and you got to crawl around like a four-legged yeah. animal. Yeah, well, I don't have to do that. Oh, I but... did. It sucked. <laughs> I got this fancy new bed that uh, sits up for me. <laughs> I have one of those powered platforms now. It's got a remote. It's like, Next thing you know, you have that little chair that carries you up the stairs. Nighty night, everyone. Whoop. Oh my gosh. I Marty Five asks, what month is your best weather over there this month? Yeah, well, fall. <laughs> Fall is gorgeous. September, October. It can still be pretty hot, though. Yeah. Like, Se October, end of September. Yeah, like, the last half of September into the first half of October, it's beautiful. So, you're talking yeah. to two people that hate heat, I though. I hate the heat. Like, anything above 72, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Where's the air conditioning? So, if you like hot weather... July. In Michigan, July, August... August Come on over. Uh, you know, everybody's out in the lake and their boats yeah. and having a blast. And yep. uh, we're sitting in the AC. <laughs> well, I work outside. That's why I hate the heat. So when I get home, I'm like, you know, I'm in, I'm in the house. Yeah. I'm a homebody. If you love winter and snow, January, February, yeah. best. Sometimes in December, it's just starting. It's just a little flurry here and there. But January and February, it's really, really snowing hard. Yeah. Thomas Wolf, thanks for the super chat. He says, thank you for organizing this wonderful evening for other musicians. I really enjoy it. You're great. Oh, you're welcome, man. And thank you. Like, we love doing this. Like, this is a highlight of our week, honestly. We look forward to this. We're like, doing it on Easter, too. Yeah, yeah. We didn't want to miss it. So we love <clears throat> we love doing this. So The Juggernaut. Yeah. What's up, guys? How does the Helix stack up against the Quad Cortex in terms of amp and profiles? The fact... <sighs> Boy, you know, maybe I should do an episode about that. I really should. <laughs> I I I love my Helix for four cable method. Like when I, you'll never see me play these amps without it. I play my amps with my Helix because it does all the routing, switching, all the effects and different things that I use. Even like overdrive pedals, I use like exterior, all that. It just it's like the hub of my of this room. The yeah. Helix is literally the hub of this room when I'm playing my amps. Um, <laughs> I like profiles better than I like models. Um, I feel like they're more three dimensional. Um, whether it's a Kemper versus a Helix or a Kemper versus a Axe Effects or whatever, I prefer the Kemper. And it's not because I prefer the Kemper, I just prefer profiles. And especially like, and I say this with all humility, especially now, uh, now that I've really learned uh, how to step up my game with profiles, I just don't feel like models can compare to what I can do with these profiles. And it's not because I'm better than who does the modeling. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. It's just that these are custom. Like, I can dial in these amps any way I want and really get the mics where I want them and pick the mics, pick the cab, pick all that stuff and run the profiles. And I could split hairs all day long until I get them the way I like them. You can only do so much with a model, you know, because the model, the algorithms associated with it and everything just are what they are. The only way to improve it is to add in a, a couple of, uh, you know, effects blocks mm -hmm. and maybe um, a, a better impulse response. But that's as good as it's ever going to get. Where, where with uh, profiles, honestly, the sky's the limit. It really is. You're not limited by what the platform does mm -hmm. because you could change everything. Uh, Jeff Cornell also said, how about the quick rod, too? 
Mm. So he was offering up the slow, and now, what about the quick rod? I'd absolutely do a quick rod. Yeah, I got no problem with that. Jeff, Jeff, you're like being awesome tonight. <laughs> I hope you come with them. I hope right. you, yeah, I hope you come well, with Well, maybe dude. if he comes in August for the Guitar Summit, we you can could do bring it then. him then. Yeah. Or sooner. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. I would love to hang with Jeff and just, uh, you know, spend a day doing some yeah. profiles. And, and we can go to Alex's. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, get some, yeah, we got this awesome place down the street that 101 beers on tap, like tons Good of great food. food. Yeah. And we yeah. can walk there. Get atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. But we're not going to walk there. Well, because we're going to wobble back. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, my back won't let me. Well, depends. <laughs> Dean Harkness says, if you love heat, come to Mississippi in July. Oof. It's like the seventh layer of hell with humidity <laughs> and mosquitoes. Yeah. That's just like here. Seriously. Mosquitoes and hell. <laughs> I think Mississippi is probably a little hotter, yeah. but yeah. I mean, got here. got gators and stuff there, too. They got gators. They got gators. They got some gators and taters. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, Mom? Oh, gators and taters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had that last week. You know, you shush and you eat your gators and taters. Phil and Anatucci joined us. Hey, what's up, man? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Jason Lewis says the quick rod is a great amp. It is. It's, How's that water work, by the way? Uh, it works, but Help. it's still pretty spicy. Yeah. You want some more water? No, I'm good. Okay. I'll just I'll just man up and deal with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it on ice, man. But I figured oh, I'll have it neat tonight. Whoa! Surprise! Yeah, the old sinuses are cleared out. That's for dang sure. Tear up your tummy. Yeah. So here is the stealth profiles I did. So this is the blue channel for rhythm, and the red channel for leads. So let me just do a couple riffs on it, and I'll do a mix. Um, okay. Mute the mic. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
there. That nice. was uh, yeah. Thank you. That was out of nowhere. A little sloppy, but <laughs> that was a great whatever. Bug. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you. we've got somebody new joining us. Oh, cool. Sean Shreds. He says Sean I Shreds. just joined today and love your last video. He said I dig your profiles. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, he subscribed. Thank you. Good to see you here, man. Yeah. Did you get the new pack? Because I just released that like a couple hours ago. The new uh, ref refined uh, free pack. There's six of them in there. So if you haven't got those, because I just swapped them out for the yes. other ones. So if you haven't got those, they're Go free. Go get them. Go get them, man. He said, nice shredding. Mm. Leif Wave, awesome playing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Appreciate that Jeffrey very much. Blanco, have... Have you ever actually met John Pertucci? Twice. He seems to be a very nice and humble guy. He is. I met him twice. He did a clinic here at Motor City Guitar like 10 years ago at least. It was when they did the Octavarium tour. And uh, it's back when he had his hair all spiked up everywhere. It was awesome. And, um, and he, you know, here is, here is a, um, a testimony of how humble and how down to earth he is. Um, he was at this this thing and there was like a um you know a q a session and this one guy he was wearing these like really cool boots john mm -hmm. was and they had like flames going up them and everything and um they were just you know these badass boots yeah. and this one guy goes so um what's the function of your boots is it is it are they functional is there like something that they do for <laughs> you and the guy was like serious it was like one of those really like like what <laughs> yeah um <laughs> Yeah, I tuned my guitar with my boots or whatever, and it was just like this really odd question. And instead of John making fun of the guy, he was just like, um, "No, I just really like them. It's kind of a fashion thing, and yeah. they're just they're just kind of cool." And he kind of showed them off. He's like, "Yeah, I just kind of dig them. My wife Me and likes John them." John with boots. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we both have you should it. do a show with John. Yeah, <laughs> see your cool boots. Yeah, <laughs> you guys could go boot shopping yeah. together. I can see it now. You guys skipping through the mall. Um, I'd but, take him to get his hair cut now. Yeah, yeah you would. <laughs> Trim up the beard, Trim get up your the haircut. Beard. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just a really down-to-earth guy. And when I met him uh, backstage, our friend John Thrasher and I and some other friends went and saw Dream Theater on um, their Astonishing Tour in Ohio. And we, did, we got the whole backstage pass thing. And we got to meet the band. And uh, he spent, uh, I, I was last in line, which is awesome, because uh -huh. if you're last in line, you don't feel rushed. So I actually spent some more time with him, and he signed the back of my guitar. He was just really cool, just super cool guy, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a great dude, real deal. Nice. Phil Anatucci says, well, grab a mic and drop some chops. <laughs> he uh, wants you to sing, in yes, other words. Yes, I get it. We ain't got nothing prepared tonight. I'm trying to find where I left off. Okay, here we go. Um, bop, 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 Marty Five. It is getting better the way you kick off the mixes these days. Seamless enough. Chugums. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Are you still using you. the John Petrucci picks from Quentin? Oh, uh, good question. I have some upstairs, but I, I love these gravity picks. Um, I'm a big fan of the of the picks because like this pick is three years old, you know, and I have several of them. You know, I, that's why you see me do this a lot. I'm always testing the point on it to see if it's <laughs> worn down. And they still, they're, they're worn down a tad, but they still work really well. And these are the Sunrise Big Mini. And uh, they're amazing. And they got the little holes on them, so they, they grip. And it uh, doesn't mean I never drop them, but it's rare. Um, I just jinx myself. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I love these picks a lot. And they're the, um, they're the, uh, the they have like this nice, scrapey jagged edge on them i shouldn't say jagged but um uh, i forget what these are called the oh uh what is it see if you can read that gravity picks yeah no i mean the the type of edge it's an unpolished oh, it's an unpolished edge does it say on there yeah but i can't read it without my glasses that's so backwards but, here we go but yeah they're really really sunrise good sunrise big mini three yeah that's all it says yeah so it's three millimeters thick um and they're they're great picks. I love these, and it's just home base for me, you know. But the JP picks are very nice too. Jen Seaman is with us now. Hey, hey I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Jen. Sean Casey, the stealth sounds awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, profile. And then he said profile. Yeah, yeah, it, it they turned out really good. I just did those um, 
today, actually. I did the stealth ones today. Yes, you did. Yep. Jeffrey Blanco says I like Out of Nowhere a lot. Oh, yeah, me too. Thank you. I like it a lot too. <laughs> thank you. It's a challenge to play. It's a lot of fun, but it's it's a challenge, you know. That one doesn't have words. We might need nope. to put some words you to it. You think so? Some words. Think put some words to it. Some yeah. lurks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we could probably do that. You got anything else you want to play for? Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. Got I got all, all kinds of, kind of stuff. Yeah, so let me let me uh, play the Herbie. These are my Herbie profiles. So what you can hear for the rhythm is channel 2 plus, and for the lead is channel 3. So let me go ahead and mute the mic and switch over to those. One second. <laughs> So that's the Herbie. Oh, I thought you were going to play some. Oh, I will. I just wanted to. Marty work, Five work says Herbie me. sounds like a Volkswagen. Yeah. <laughs> that's <sounds> right. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The car Herbie is what he's talking about. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, that's a great amp. I it's got that a... was the Roadrunner meep that you did there. <laughs> but the, the horn on the Herbie. But that sounded like the Roadrunner. <laughs> Yeah. You crazy. You crazy Jason girl. Lewis says, what's the cool 80, 90-ish song that you play? Can you play that on this diesel profile? Oh, yeah. I think I know what one he's talking <laughs> yes. about. Is it, is it, uh, is it, um, Time Flies? Yeah. I think it's Time Flies. I think it's Time Flies. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Right there. Ah! <laughs> This is one Get of those. Out of your head. You're gonna do great. <laughs> this is one of those songs that I gotta play it every day, or I can't play it right. So yeah. expect a train wreck. That's all I'm gonna say, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta turn the volume up on this. All right, one second here. <laughs>
I know. Nice. I gotta finish it. <laughs> you did great. Yeah, you need to care. be. You need to be relaxed and not yeah. practice more often. Oh, well, once and not <laughs> practice, practice during more the often. week, but not do it before well, the show. We're we're talking about John Petrucci earlier. Someone asked him <laughs> in an interview, um, like, "Do you warm up before shows? Is it a must?" And he goes, "You know, sometimes." on tour like you just don't have time yep. he's like sometimes we just things happen and i literally go on stage cold yeah and he's like and i've played i've played amazingly uh cold and i've warmed up for hours and played horribly yep. so it just it's one of those things where you just never know what you, what kind of night you're gonna have That's you right. know so you're having a good night tonight well thank you it's it's been you know I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been it's been fun, man. Um, I just honestly, I feel more loose. Well, I feel more loose when you're here. I feel a little better when you're here. Um, but I also feel better when I'm not with the in ears, you yeah. know, because yeah, just I love the, the open ambiance. air. Yeah, you get the whole thing. Yeah, I like the open air much better. I'm just, getting. I'm just now getting used to not having my in ears. Yeah, in, isn't it weird? Not. It's totally freaky. We're so used to it hearing. It totally everything. feels like we're recording a something right now. It does not feel like we're live. <laughs> I know. And the first time I did this a couple of weeks ago without the in ears, yeah. that was the whole night. I felt really odd. Yeah. It was fun, but also like, am I still? I had to keep checking the monitor. Oh, I'm still live. Okay, yeah. you know, it just doesn't feel the like same. Like where uh, I keep, um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but I just feel like we're talking before the show. Yeah. Oh, I remember during... what I was gonna say is yeah. that we probably talk louder when we have the in ears in, you know, because it blocks out the noise. So we're probably could be. Yeah. Yeah, I always keep my eye on the meter there, yeah. so you know. But uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been uh, I I like this better. <laughs> You know, I feel a little more freer when I'm playing, especially. Was that the song? I hope that was the right song. Yes, it was. They're all singing. Oh, okay. Plays. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Alcoustic says, no mistakes. It must be the magic meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Dude, it was my dude. magic meatloaf. <laughs> and there's another piece left. There is. <laughs> I put a booger on it. It's, my, <laughs> it's fine. Boo. It's all yours. <laughs> She makes world class meatloaf, guys. Seriously, I was like, "Wow, that was so good." Yep. Zeno is with us. Hey. He says, "Good evening, guys. Normally it's bedtime, but no work tomorrow, so having a few beers and watching in Ireland." Good for you. Greetings and happy Easter all the way into Ireland. Good for you. Why yes. don't you have to work tomorrow? Probably holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like Easter Monday. On my calendar it says Easter Monday Easter is tomorrow, Monday. I and know. it's like. Well, that's a first. Yeah. You know, I've, I've never seen that before. I'm working tomorrow. I got a couple Me jobs. Too. So Me too. I'm happy to do them, though. Jason Lewis says Time Flies needs to be made into a full blown song with lyrics. It's an epic tune. Well, yeah, I'm sure she'd be happy to do it. You know, <laughs> it's a fun song to play. I actually have more to it that I haven't. Uh, yes. I've written it ish, but I got to solidify it before I play it live. Maybe I should. Hold my feet to the fire, and by next Sunday I should have it. No, next Sunday, I'm doing. Yeah, we you know, got a week doing the of shootout. craziness. So, Paul Smith, Herbie, and Jared are sounding great. Thank you. Yeah, the Herbies. Yeah, it's dude that amp. You got to hear that amp in the room. That's why, like, I guess I'll do a shameless plug for um the the <laughs> the, the Tone Wars uh, Guitar Summit in August. Uh, was it August seventh at Motor City yes. Guitar? I will have the Herbie there, and you will hear that thing. Like it'll, it'll gut punch you. You know <laughs> that that amp. Is it reminds me to bring my earphones. Oh yeah, <laughs> my earplugs. It's, that's that's when you hear the Herbie and the Savage and my uh, Mark III uh, Rev. 120 yeah, right. they're gonna roar that day yeah <laughs> right. yeah yeah it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good night what i don't know you just had this far off distant oh, look no, in your eyes no. like oh nope I'm you're just, going down i don't know what's down. happening nope, i'm fine <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine no that's gonna be a fun night marty five says i want to write the acoustic drop where you end the song now do it. Ah, you can. Do it. Send it in. Yeah, do, send it in. I mean, basically, the rest of the song, maybe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> should I just? I should. I, all right. So I'm gonna you play it for you night. again, but I. It's not done. It's not done, and I'll just riff on it. I'll show you what I have so far. Yeah. I don't even remember what I wrote because it's like mm -hmm. it's been weeks since I've worked on it. 
So I'm going to screw up. I'm probably not going to do it right. Uh, yeah, there's an ending I had to it that was um, pretty cool, but I, I haven't... Man, I've really put myself stop on Stop talking and start playing. Dude, this is not you good. You got it. This is not good. I'm going to... All right. Yikes. All right, one more time, guys. <laughs> I'll see if I can do this right. Bear with me and don't make fun of me. <laughs> That was almost that wasn't yes. so bad. Uh, it was almost there. Those are that's that's me noodling and trying to remember what the hell I did. Some of it was correct and some of it wasn't, but that's kind of the idea. I was yes. going for like a vibey thing, yeah. you know. So, but once I get it down, it'll it'll you know hopefully be really cool. You know, it's just a matter of time. There's just you, some stuff so you got to decide on for the next community jam. You yeah. should use the ending of that, like, and send it out and see what people come up with to end that song. I could send this out. And they, people could do the whole thing. Yeah. It's just a fun song to play over. It's really easy. <laughs> it lends itself to whatever, you know. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, at least you get an idea of what I'm kind of trying to do. It's definitely not final. Trust me. It's just me noodling around and searching for things but bobby like he says live on the edge <laughs> <laughs> that was that's a lot for me to do that you guys don't have no idea like i don't do that i do not ad lib live oh our but... mama joined us he said good morning Whoa. everybody's coming in from uh around the world yeah what's going on buddy what's going on in india i think he's yeah. from india yeah what's going on buddy he said good to see you guys yeah there's a good player there Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, that guy's a freaking beast on the guitar. <laughs> Holy cow.
He said, nice tone, loved playing, and a beautiful delay there. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love that delay, man. I'm all about those delays. Mm -hmm. I like repeating. I like my mistakes to be repeated over and over again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's always nice. Jeffrey Blanco says, that sounded good. It may not be finalized, but it is sounding good. I was thank jamming you. with you on my guitar. I'll see. Ah, I want to yeah. hear it. Dude, Next uh, one. I don't think I put my email in the in the thing, but um, it's on all my other live streams. I forgot to put my email and stuff yeah, up there. I can't do it. It won't yeah. let me. Yeah, let me. I'll, I'll send you the track, dude. I'll be, I got no problem with that. says, I dig it. Needs more harmonic cleans. That drop and bridge will pop. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to do some, you know, uh, just some moody... Like, I rolled off the volume, you know, just do some moody little things. Uh, nostalgic. I wanted it to sound nostalgic because that's what the song is to me. It's nostalgic. It's throwbacky sounding. And then, like, that's honestly, that part of the song is, it's it, it, it reminds me of when I was a kid. You know, like, yes. we used to go tubing down the river all the time. <laughs> yeah, up in St. Clair. Uh, oh, my God. We had so much fun. We would start, we would drive about a half an hour up the river. And there's like 50 of us, not kidding you. And we'd all, we'd, you know, we'd all throw our inner tubes in this dude's truck. Yes. There's actually several trucks. And we would park at the River Crab, you know, and uh, it's a restaurant on the, on the, uh, on the river there. And St. we would, Claire River. yep. <laughs> and we would all tie our tubes together uh, and float from all the way from there back to the boardwalk. And it took five hours. And we, the rule was we had a keg with us, and we had to empty the keg by the time we got there. <laughs> and, man, that was fun. I mean, you're floating in the river all the way down, and you got to swim up to the keg and pour your beer and then swim back to your tube and get in it and drink your beer. And then by the time you got to the boardwalk, you've been laying around in drinking for, like, five hours. <laughs> and, man, I'm telling you, you don't realize how... Sea legs. Yeah, you don't realize how out of it you are until you climb up that ladder. And everybody's climbing up the ladder and just falling over. <laughs> We're all like, ah, laughing at each other. Because you don't realize until you stand up how the world's actually spinning. And then we'd have to go You're get a bunch still of... still kind of yeah. wobbling on the waves. <laughs> and we'd have to go get pizzas and sit in the grass and eat pizzas for a couple hours, man. It was fun, man. That's what it reminds me of, that middle section. That's what it's about. Jason Lewis, so <laughs> six song, dude. Spacious, rhythmic, and very melodic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thomas Wolf says, thank you for the nice evening. I gotta go to bed. In three hours, my boys, five-year-old twins, will wake me up and ask for daddy entertainment. <laughs> so I'll see you next Sunday. I can't <laughs> wait for that. Dude, time. thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Seriously, we look forward. Make sure you say hello next week when you're in. Uh, we love hearing from you. Next week's gonna be sick. It's gonna be a great episode. Um... Uh, I can't wait. I honestly think the Kemper has a fighting chance. Yeah, oh, for I, sure. I really do. I mean, it sounded great, right? I mean, it sounds awesome tonight. So, uh, Paul Smith says he would love the track. Bobby Lucky it. says, sounds cool to play with, and all submissions are free to use on the channel. Yes, please send the track. All right. Um, my email's in. I posted it in here. Okay. and uh, So feel free to email me. I will send you the track. I'll send it tonight or tomorrow for sure. Gaurav Lama says, Jared, how can we check out the modeler if it's good or not and has a good dynamic response to it? Would love would love to know this from you, buddy. Uh, um, is he talking about the... Um, he didn't say, but I'm assuming the quad cortex. Right? Yeah, if you're talking about the quad cortex, I mean, it, it feels and sounds great. I mean, it really does. I think they did a great job with it. Um, I think next Sunday is going to be a photo finish as far as the, <laughs> I really do. I don't think either one of them are going to walk away easily with the win. I think that it's going to be a very tight race. I really do. Yeah, and, so he hasn't been here for the whole show. But next Sunday, we're going to do a Tone Wars shootout between yep. the Quad Cortex and the Kemper. We'll have three different guitar players, and one of them just stopped in, Steve Shaheen. Hey, Happy what's Easter. up? He says he just got back from family stuff. Oh, uh, what's up, man? Steve's going to be one of the guitar players here doing a blind shootout, and yep. they'll rate the noises that they're yep. hearing. <laughs> uh, uh, based on tone and feel. Tone and so feel. So they're going to they're gonna rank them. It's a score of 1 to 10, you know, uh, on tone and feel. And wait do you hear, like, Steve and TJ, I mean... These guys, Steve, they're very interesting guitar yeah. players. Steve does some crazy stuff that's just amazing. So, 
you guys like I, I wanted to, this to be accurate scientific i wanted it to be a good shootout but i also wanted it to be entertaining and the thing is is like people always are like well how's it sound in a mix yeah. well you're gonna know because there's gonna be guys playing their own music with their own backing tracks they're gonna be sitting about right here and they're gonna be listening to it with the same cali audio monitors that we're listening to right now and they're going to be able to play to their own backing track. So yep. not only do you get to see an awesome shootout, you get to see awesome guitar players, and you get to hear some great music. And you're going to see a little bit of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah. You're going to record actually dialing the things yep. in. We're yep. going to film the whole thing. So mm -hmm. the show will start with that. When the show officially starts, it'll show it, it'll up. It'll start at 7 o'clock Eastern yep. time. So, yeah, come on back next Sunday night. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, For man. All things Quad Cortex mm. versus Kemper. Uh, Marty Five, will you include an expression pedal to the Quad Cortex in your review? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I'm not, I'm not sure which one it takes. I think Mission makes one for it, but I don't think I'll have one here by then. You know, because I don't own the Quad Cortex. It's actually Chicago Todd's. He he was kind enough to let me use it for a few weeks, um, for this very reason. Shootouts, episodes, whatever. You know, um, but. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I can. I don't know if I can get one here in time. And honestly, like, this time of year for me is so, like, <laughs> I, I'm working every day this week. Like, I'm swamped with work. So even having the spare time to dial something in like that would be a tall order for me right now. I do appreciate the question. I wish I had more time for it, but I just don't right now. Uh, Jeffrey Blanco, do these profiles you're using have a cabinet included, and which cabinet did you use? Yes, it's the diesel uh, 212 cab with the um, G12K100s. Uh, this cab is sick. It's so good. <laughs> and so you're going to hear the diesel with it, the angle with it, and the EVH with it. Yeah. Uh, Sean Shreds, Jared, can you refine old old profiles? No, good question. I wish, I wish you could. Um... But uh, you basically, the refining process happens while you're profiling. So as soon as it's done profiling and it stops making its spaceship noises, um, basically <laughs> it, you push a button that says refine, and then you start playing yes. through it right then and there. Because what you're doing is you're playing the guitar through the amp, and the mics are picking it up and sending that information to the Kemper. So once that's done, it's done. It's Set in stone. <laughs> so you got to do it right then and there. I know good some question. of you are saying good night. We're going to wrap things up here in the next five minutes or so. So if you have a question that's been burning a hole, <laughs> go ahead and put it in the chat, and we'll be out of here in about five minutes. I want to do one more mix. Yeah. And then we can... Send your questions while he's playing. Yeah. So I'm going to do a mix, and then uh, this is back to my favorite amp, which is the Savage uh, profiles that I did. These are so good. <laughs> oh, I'm really enjoying these. So I want to play um, uh, this other one for you guys. Yeah. And hopefully I can play this one right here. Um, so we'll do that, and then we'll, we'll hang out for another several minutes with you, and then we'll call it a night. Um, so just give me a second here. A little shot of courage. <laughs> a little water. <laughs> a little water, vitamin water. Yeah, so one second here. Let me mute the mic.
I love that. <laughs> I love playing that solo. It's a challenge, but it's so. It's just so much fun to play, and it's beefy. It's got, like, there's some riffs I put in there that are chunky, and I just love how this amp responds to those, and it just sounds so good. It's just, like, very energetic uh, to play. I love playing it. Dude, I'm telling you, like, someone was asking, should they get the Ingle Savage earlier? Dude, just buy it. <laughs> that amp is, like, it, it, oh, it's so You'll good. Be happy. Absolutely. That amp is so ridiculously amazing. Just get it. Christopher, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thanks, man. Jason Lewis says, to at Tomar is not wanting to be a party pooper, but is there any way you can contact Buck at ISP and grab a Theta Pro? <laughs> I think that they could potentially smoke both the Kemper and QC Ooh. in a three-way battle royale. <laughs> well, I would, I, uh, Buck's a nice guy. His his shop is literally 10 minutes from me. So, is I mean... That, um, the ISP. It's the Theta Pro. Where, the guy from, the guitar player from um, Sweet, Sweet Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's literally, ah. literally right down the street uh, and around the corner from me. Um, I mean, I never had one of those on the show, yeah. um, but I played one and it was pretty cool. So who knows, man? <laughs> Jason says, by the way, this song needs lyrics and made into full blown song as well. Funny you mentioned that. Funny you mentioned that. <laughs> that is. It's and it actually is it's part of our cover of My Immortal from Evanescence. He yep. just he wrote his own little solo there. Yeah. So we <laughs> we took My Immortal and turned it into a metal tune and I yeah. added a guitar solo to it. So what I did for this mix is I actually kind of did it like a, a remix yeah. of the song so that would work for the channel so that I can do... So when like, I do the breakdown, I we've sang this song on the channel so many times, but mm -hmm. when I'm doing the breakdown where I'm like, You cried, I'd wipe away all of your tears. And then I kind of go up the scale there. That's what he's playing. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm playing all the extra yeah. solos and stuff. But when she's singing, I mean, I'm playing rhythm there. Right. So, yeah, so I made like a remix for the show. It's his way to show off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just loved playing the solo so much. I was like, this would be perfect for yeah. demoing amps and stuff. So that's what that is. It's actually that. Jay from Warm Card says, sorry I missed most of the show. Just got home from family. Sounds great as always. We forgive you. Yeah. You're all good. Only if you come next week. Yeah. Only, yeah. <laughs> if you don't come next week, you ain't forgiven. Gaurav asks, Jared, does Kemper have seamless audio switching like the snapshots on the Helix? Yes, it does. And I'll show you right now. One second. That's a great question. There you go. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from my, my rhythm patch to my uh, lead patch and then back again. And you're going to hear the delay. Um spillover um which is called trails we'll we'll go over top of it so yeah one second here Yeah, so I was switching back and forth, and there was no gap. See, back in, uh, several years ago, um, all the digital platforms, there was a gap, and it sucked. Yeah. It was like this, it was like yeah. this silence between switches, and people hated it, and the delay repeats wouldn't spill over, mm -hmm. and it sucked because you go with this epic solo, and you go back to your rhythm, and it's like, eh. what? Oh, <laughs> it's just uncomfortable, you know. But that's not the case anymore. So, Sean yeah. Shred says that's the best part of the Kemper. Yeah, it's very seamless with all that stuff. It does a great job. You know, the thing is, is like the Kemper is old tech, right? I mean, everybody calls it old tech because it's, I call it OG tech, you know, because it's been around a long time, but it still works. It still freaking works. And, um, you know, I think it does a great job. It's like those flip phones. Yeah. <laughs> still work. They still work. But, I think it's time that uh, Kemper got a, a facelift, though. I think that the mm -hmm. the user interface needs to be adapted to today's technology because um, I I can use the user interface because I'm familiar with it, but I know people that are like, dude, the Kemper sounds amazing. I just couldn't get around it. 
uh, yeah. the way I wanted to. So touch screens are the way of the future when it comes to all this stuff. Because we use them every day, you know? Cooper is here. He says, sup, bro. Cooper, you joined us right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Cooper? <laughs> I, I, I am ready to go take some Advil. <laughs> oh, nice, nice for you to be here, dude. Um, yeah, her back's hurting her, so <laughs> she needs to go up and get, the, get some Advil and a heat pad. So, um, well, guys... Seriously, yeah. thanks for joining us tonight. We very much appreciate it. You know, um, you know, it really means a lot to us. And and uh, I want to, you know, give a quick shout out to everybody and a thank you to the people that you know had all the great kind words and the stuff on my shootout mm -hmm. episode between the Kemper and yeah. Quad Cortex. But also the people that were like, hey. Uh, if you did these couple of things differently with a Kemper, it might be a different uh, outcome. And I learned a lot from that, and I'm very grateful because it, it made my profile so much better. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be better for me and for you, yeah. you know. So I'm very. That's why I'm giving out that free pack. It's my way of giving back and saying thank you, you know, because I appreciate it, you know. So like I always say, I'm always here to learn from everybody here too, you know. And I learned a lot this week, so I'm very grateful, you know. Yeah. So. Well, anyways, um, we know that there's a lot of places that you could be spending your time and a lot of other things you could be watching, and we're honored. We really are honored and privileged to have you here, and we never take that for granted. So thank you so much for being here, you know. And like I always say, every day's a gift. And thank you for sharing yours with us. Exactly. So thank <laughs> you, guys, and do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Donuts. Do not miss out next week, next Sunday night for fight night. It's That's gonna right. be freaking lit. It's gonna be <laughs> epic. So please be here. We really look forward to that. Um, so all right. Well, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Happy Easter, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. And we will see you all very soon. And we look forward to it. Take care.